Greetings people, tis I, 480 volts, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. All right, so next up on my list would technically be Beacon El Desert. There's a mission there that requires me to go to a bunch of different places, and I think I'm gonna save that for last, actually. Instead, we're gonna, so we're gonna skip Beacon El, we're gonna go to the Calm Lands. Now, interestingly enough, there are two missions available in the Calm Lands. Now, this one, Mission 2, is mission complete. It says, Clasco settled down at last, about time to. Wanna go check in on him? Uh, we could check up on him, and um, we could, matter of fact, I will. It just puts us right down here. And if we go in here, there he is. And you can ask him all sorts of questions about chocobos. Now, at this particular moment in time, I don't know much about uh, the chocobo ranch. Oh, there's uh, Shinra. Let's talk to him. Comsphere installation complete. <laughs> okay, he's just gonna say that. But looky here, this chocobo is the one that we captured. Um. It's a Choco Runner, level one. Its heart level is at 100, and it is by nature timid. Uh, none of that really means anything uh, right now because I'm not really doing anything with the Chocobos. We may mess with this later on, I don't know. I'll just see where the the Let's Play dictates me, but, uh, but you know, if you're curious about, you know, like, you know, the levels of chocobos and the heart level and their nature and all that stuff you can uh, you can learn from asking uh, you can just check out here uh, from Clasco but yeah it, it, I just wanted to show that our chocobo is in fact in the ranch and uh, but anyway that's not the main reason why I'm here I'm gonna board the airship um, I wonder do y'all say anything new <laughs> Uni, you're sure you're not getting any sudden chocobo hunting urges? What do you mean, urges? So now you're gonna find him a chocobo? Well, aren't you nice? No, I'm really not going to. I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, <clears throat> I may do some more research on that, but for now, I'm gonna check out the other mission in the Calm Lands. Uh, mission one. Fiends in the Gorge Cave. Distress call from the cave down, or the cave down in the gorge. Say a faith used to be down there. Maybe this has something to do with the temple fiends? Maybe, let's check it out. This puts us down here. Don't worry, I'll explore the rest of the Calm Lands later. It'll probably be in the next video. I think I'm gonna have to split it into two videos because this is gonna take me uh, the pretty much the whole video. And it's a cool, um, it's a cool little um, mission too. Do you say anything? No. Oh, there we go. Open Air was all set to kick off their new attraction, Cavern Crawler. You should see the crowd they drew. Then, fiends started appearing out of nowhere. Some of the visitors are still trapped inside. Oh, that's not good. Uh, no publicity to be, uh, to be done here, but when you, uh, walk over here... Get a cutscene. Fiends, come deep in the cave! There are still some people trapped inside. So get them out! There's nothing we can do to help them. Oh, but you want me to do everything. <sighs> be honest, I'd had enough. I wanted to blame them for turning a place like this into a tourist attraction. Yeah, it's your own fault. But... Please, won't you help us rescue the people left behind? Stay away from the summoner! That's who that lady reminds me of. Um, we're going to ignore what Yuna said about having enough and uh, it's their own fault. No, it's alright, we'll help them. You are most kind. I know, I really am. Your friendly neighborhood goal wings open for business. <laughs> Get us some money, buddy. I don't know if we actually get money. Well, I'm sure we get money from completing missions. Anyway, mission time! Uh, tourist trap. Rescue the tourists who didn't make it out of the cave. They hold the key to unlocking its secrets. Objective, save the tourists from the fiends. All right, there, well, now we're inside the cave. There is a lot of explaining I need to do here. First off, let's back out. Um, do I, if I talk to this guy, bring them out one at a time if you have to, please hurry. Um, nah, let me talk to this guy. You should be able to use the square platforms inside to teleport deeper into the cave, even through walls. 
The platforms aren't working right now, but you should be able to reactivate them by collecting these energy cores. Here, take the one I found. I hope it will help. <clears throat> will I receive the energy core one? Um, make sure you do talk to this guy and uh, ask about that. You need to get that energy core if you want to fully complete the mission. You don't have to do it now. You can do it later. But interesting enough, if I walk over here, it says it asks me if I want to leave the mission. And then if I say yes, I'm back over here now. And if I just go over here, it asks if I want to continue the mission. Just know that at any point in time, you can do that. You can uh, quit the mission and then go back into the mission. And it's probably a good idea to do that to um, uh, mess with, or you know, use the saves here and all that stuff. Anyway, it says cores needed to restore level one, teleport four. I'm not gonna worry about that so much. Let me explain this mission. Now this mission, I did a practice run of this a few hours ago. I like this mission. This mission's fun. I, and I, I really mean that. Um, let's see, there are some tourists that we need to save. Now, it, there's no meter that's gonna tell you how many there are as of yet, but I'll just go ahead and tell you there's 15 people all together and we need to rescue them. Now, here's how it works. When you find a tourist in this cave, all you have to do is talk to them and you know you have the option to take them with you or tell them to wait here. Now there are, you say to yourself, why would you want them to wait here? There are reasons why you would want them to wait, uh, why you would want certain people to wait, but I will explain that shortly. Here's what you need to know. When you tell them to follow you, what happens is the person will then, the tourist will then follow you all over the cave, wherever you may go in the cave. Eventually, when you come back to the cave entrance, the tourist then thanks you for rescuing them and they leave the cave. It's sort of like you deposited them, if you will, and they are now officially rescued, okay? And, well, the thing is, each of the, um, hang on a minute. If you rescue multiple tourists at once, you know, before depositing them, they all just follow you around. So if you just do, if you rescue a whole bunch of tourists, um, you know, you'll start building a big crowd behind you of, you know, trapped tourists, right? Well, each of the tourists comes with a bit of an eccentric quirk, at least one eccentric quirk where they don't like certain groups. Uh, they don't like to be around too many people. So you have to kind of manage how many tourists you want to rescue at a time. And what most people will do is they will... Um, grab as many tourists as they can, then they will deposit them, and then they will go back inside and rescue more tourists to make multiple trips. There's absolutely no reason for you not to do that. You don't get penalized for doing that. You don't get punished in any way. There's no extra reward if you do it differently. But I am going to show you that it is indeed possible to rescue almost all of the tourists in a single go. I don't think it's, po I don't think it's possible to rescue every single one but it is possible to rescue almost every single one. Now let's start walking. And of course, we're gonna get into battles, so just be warned. So here's one of these platforms right here. Remember, these platforms from Final Fantasy X, they let you teleport over the place. We've seen similar platforms in Mount Gagaset. Doesn't appear to be working right now, but uh, that's what that core's needed to restore the level one teleport means. So yeah, we'll keep that in mind. But we'll worry about the cores later. Right now, let's just walk. Okay, we got this enemy that I did not fight in my practice run, the Deva. I know nothing about him. Like, I don't know what I can and cannot do to him. I will try the Samba of Silence. That seems like it might be good. And it also seems like he might guard against that. Oh, that's right. He casts hate. Oh, if he casts haste on himself, I may know how to handle him. Because I remember this guy from Final Fantasy X. Oh boy, that's gonna hurt. Um, let's, let's... Never mind. I was gonna try the, the, uh, slow dance to see if that would slow him down. Because I remember in Final Fantasy X, you could slow him down. And he would often counter attack by putting you in, uh, or putting himself in haste. Alright, so if I turn right at this junction... See this guy running around? Well, when I talk to him, this is what it says. If I can. But fiends, they came out of nowhere! You, you're here to help? Oh, thank you! So this is one of the tourists. Now, list his eccentricities. He prefers to be in parties of eight or less. 
If he's one of the first five in line, he can handle bigger crowds. In other words, if you rescue like nine tourists, at least nine, and then you come over to this guy, he will not join your, your crowd because there's there's too many people. Um, If you have, let's see, five, six, and or seven in your group, he will join. Let me, let me, no, wait, let me, let me rephrase that. Hang on a second. Yes, um, if, if you've already got like, at least, let's say you've got six people, and then you come to this guy, and you, you ask him to join. So you don't have eight people yet. He'll join you, but once you get like up to nine, he'll leave. But, if I rescue him right now, or a few more people from now, so as long as he's the he's one of the first five people I rescue, he'll just stay in my group no matter how big it gets. So he's somebody you might want to rescue early, but I'm not. I'm going to tell him to wait here. I will rescue him later. In the meantime, let's go up here. Now this guy. So you have to pay attention to how, how big uh, the group gets before the guys leave. And then sometimes you have to pay attention to, like, how early they want to be rescued. This guy. Help me! Help me! Oh, why won't you help me? What's that? You are here to help me? Huh, glad you spoke up before I lost it. Uh, so he hates being with more than three people. But if he's first or second in line, he'll stay with any sized group. So this is somebody you definitely want to rescue immediately. This is, you want this guy, you need to rescue this guy first or or second all right so he's just gonna follow me now now up here there's a girl you've come come to save me I thought I was a goner for sure she gets edgy with more than five people around but if she's first or second in line she doesn't care how many people she's with like this guy so as long as um, again, if, if she's the first or second person that you rescue, she doesn't care. So I'm going to go ahead and grab her. So make sure you do that. Now, mm, should I show it? Yeah, I'll show it. Um, if you are doing the multiple trips method, you may want to consider putting a charm bangle on because you're going to be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you'll, the enemies here are kind of mean, but I'm going to leave it off because I want some AP and stuff like that. Ooh, treasure. Uh, I could have made it out on my own, but I couldn't leave these children here by themselves. If you can't take all three of us with you, I won't leave. Eccent eccentricities. This, um, the all three, okay, this is, if you can't see, it's a lady and two kids. They each count as their own tourists, so that's three tourists right there. They don't care how big or small the group is as long as all three of them are together, all right? So I'm going to tell them to wait here. I definitely want to rescue these people last because they don't care how big the group gets. And there's a white ring. All right, let's, uh, we'll come, I'll come back for you, lady. <clears throat> but I need to get some of these other people that have, uh, pickier requirements out of the way first. And that dude that just ran by me, don't worry about him. I'll come back to get him later. And don't worry, I will come back to get him. He's somebody very important to rescue. Um, let's go this way. I know exactly who my next person is. And it's not these kids who just ran away from me. Little urchins. But if I go over here, a camera doesn't do you any favor, but there is somebody right here. And if you just mash the X button, you can uh, meet him. Alas, they have found me! So long, cruel world! A rescue, you say? Jolly good thing I've been hiding back here! Well, okay, his eccentricities, he won't go near groups larger than three people. But oddly, once he's in a group, he stops caring. So, yeah. So, as once you get him in the group, he'll never leave. So... I'm going to go ahead and say follow me because um, uh, with him, it's three people or less. So if I get, uh, if I get, if if I came here with three people, for example, he wouldn't join. And uh, there he is. Now we get to see him. Couldn't even see him. 
Um, let's see, I definitely want to go back this way. Yeah, I did practice runs, so I'm pretty confident I know how this all works. I want to go over here. I want to go down here. Ooh, that was a scary battle. I ran into uh, a one of those big red flan type enemies that do fire damage and a Ryos. And what made it so difficult was the Ryos and the fact that uh, I kept using break on him and he didn't want to get petrified. He eventually did, but man, he uh, at one point Pain was the only one left standing. Now the good thing about the battle is Yuna learned both uh, break dance, which allows to you to inflict stop on all enemies while dancing, and she went ahead and learned this Cantus Firmus, which raises the party's defense. So that's nice. Um, let's learn Carnival Can Can real quick, and then we'll learn the other stuff. Um, all right, like I was saying, let's go this way. There's uh, there's a there's a woman there. You're here to rescue me? How do I know I can trust you? Don't then, just stay right here. Who am I kidding? I'll take my chances, let's go. Okay, she'll stay in groups of up to four people. Once she's in a group, she doesn't care what happens. So I made sure to get to this person, you know, like you, like the first two, you wanna get them quickly because, you know, they don't care as long as they're the first two, right? And then that other guy, he doesn't care as long as he's, like, he doesn't like group, he doesn't like joining groups that are more than three, but once he's in a group, he doesn't care. She doesn't like joining groups that are more than four. So you see, I'm doing this very mathematically. So, uh, so let's go ahead and get her. So now we've got four people. Now, who's next? I believe I need to do some backtracking. Yes. Yes. I do. I need to do some back tracking. Yes, I'm just gonna keep on going. I'm not gonna mess with this guy just yet. Let's see, we got four people. Let's talk to this guy. Which I've already talked to him. Fiends that came out of nowhere. You're here to help? Oh, thank you. So he prefers parties of eight or less but if he's one of the first five in line, he can handle bigger crowds. Well, he's gonna be exactly guy number five, so he's gonna be okay with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and recruit him. All right, now I got five people. See how I'm doing this? Now, I will say this. You don't have to rescue everybody. To um, actually finish the mission, you do have to rescue a few people, and it's not a certain number, it's just there are certain people you need to rescue because of the rewards you get and you'll find out what that is when we do it. But I will say now, if you rescue nobody else, make sure you rescue this guy. He won't help you so much with the mission, but you definitely wanna rescue him. Back off, I'm warning you, huh? I thought you were a fiend. Sorry, easy mistake. What do you mean easy mistake? Do I look like a fiend? Anyway, he prefers groups of seven or less, but if he's no more than sixth in line, he'll stick with any group. Well, he's exactly sixth in line, so he should stick with our group. All right, now we want to go this way. And let's see, we want to go up here, I believe, yes. All right, so we got a couple people here. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have forced you to come if you didn't want to, but I just wanted to, huh? You're here to rescue us? Okay, so it's a, it's a couple, but they each count as their own person, so this will make uh, seven and eight. Now, it, as far as he is concerned, if there are more than eight people, he'll split up unless he's seven or less. She will put up with anything, but if he leaves, she'll leave too. So I'm actually gonna say wait here, and the reason why I'm gonna say wait here, because I don't know for certain, but I think if I were to ask them to follow me, if I ask either one of them to follow me, they both do. But I think if I had asked her first, she would technically count as slot number seven and he would count as slot number eight, which means he would leave when we get nine. I'm not entirely certain if that's how it works, but I'm just gonna play it safe and ask him. This is exactly why I didn't wanna come here. But no, you wouldn't listen. You'd drag me into this stupid cave. Oh, are you here to like save us? So yeah, 
Um, he, this way, I know he'll be exactly s number seven. And she doesn't care as long as she's with him. Anyway, there's a blue ring. Because if he leaves, she leaves. So, there we go. So now, just make sure you're counting. We've got eight people now. Right? There's so many, I can't... They're so crowded, I can't really count. But I'm... Yeah, I think I have eight people now. That, that should be correct. Yes, I have eight people. I told you, we draw in a crowd. Uh, let's see... I need to go this way now. Encounter rate seems pretty low here, but... Which is nice, because the battles here are pretty mean. The enemies here are pretty mean. Especially the Ryoses. And there's those two little kids. And this platform that does not appear to be working. Oh, these guys! Um, these guys are fun. Um... I don't really know anything we can do. I will try the Sleepy Shuffle, but I don't think it works. Uh, these are the haunts. Um, the, the big thing about these guys... Okay, yeah, that didn't work. The big thing about these guys is that they cast Doom on you which can cause trouble down the line. So you basically just want to make sure you kill them quickly. Yeah, that's nice. Thankfully, they don't take too long to kill. Let me see if I can, uh... See if I can, uh... Break dance them. Okay, I'm just waiting for that chain gauge to build up. All right, and let's go. Yeah, easy enough to kill. Yeah, those guys aren't too hard. Just just make sure you get them killed. If you're able... Well... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's talk to the kids. Why are you following us? Go away! You're not gonna eat us? You're gonna save us? Oh. Okay, eccentricities. Both of them are fine in groups of up to 12. Um, so they don't like more than 12. If they're no more than 10th in line, they don't care how many people with... And they always stick together. Okay. So, how many people do we got now? We've got eight. So, yeah, if they're no more than tenth in line, well, by rescuing them, they're going to be exactly nine and ten. So, uh, they should be fine. All right. So, we've got uh, ten people in our not-so-little group. And, uh, yeah, just look at that. Look at that. Isn't that a sight to behold? And we're going to get some more people. Um, At this point... The only people left that I can rescue are the lady and the kids. That's three people. And I think they're down this way. Oh, nice. We've got uh, these guys, Vespas, which I'm sure can poison you. But I know how to make them easy. Let's get moving. Well, first off, they don't have much HP to begin with. You can put them to sleep. Golly, I love Sleepy Shuffle. That is one of my favorite dances. Um, the break dance sounds cool and all. Or, you know, the, the break dance, is that what it is? Or is it slow dance? Whatever one stops them. That sounds good and all. But it seems like, in my opinion... Please don't poison. In my opinion, it seems like... Uh, Less enemies in this... Seems like the enemies in this game are pretty resilient to stop, but they're not so resilient to sleep. So, I'm really loving sleep. Nice knowing you. Alright, let's continue. Ah, uh, just listen to the sound of all those people following us. Look at that, look at that little train we've got tagging us. Alright, and then this lady. Like I said, um... She, you should, she should be the last one you get because she doesn't care how big or small your group is as long as you get all three of them. And uh, we're gonna bring them. All right, now we have a total of 13 people. I told you there were 15 in total. Um, the last two we can't get. We just can't get, but that's fine. We're gonna take our 13 people. Golly, look at this. We're gonna take our 13 people and we're gonna head back to the entrance. Once you make it here, cutscene time. Well, not really cutscene. I found something in the cave. Since you saved my life and all, I, I guess you can have it. Well, that's an energy core too. I will need that to finish the mission. 
I can't thank you enough, so I'll thank you again. Thank you. Yeah, not all these guys give you stuff. That's why you have to know which one's to rescue and which one's not to rescue. My thanks would mean little, but perhaps this will help you. And received energy core three. That is very helpful. Bye, kids. The little boy had war paint. I was really starting to sweat back there. I found this. I know it's not much, but I'd like you to have it. Received energy core four. That is actually more than you think. Um, and you say it's not much? No, it's actually a lot. Thanks, really. I'm not sure what I can do to repay you. Of course, I have just the thing. You scored the key item, Besaid Key. Yeah, like I said, if you get nobody else, make sure you get this guy. Remember in Besaid Island, there was that girl who was selling the key for an ungodly amount of gill? I didn't show it because Besaid's a hot spot, but little known fact, well, not little known fact, if you go to Besaid in chapter three and you talk to that girl, she says, yeah, I don't have the Besaid key anymore. I sold it. Somebody came along and bought it already. Excuse me. Well, this is the guy. And if you do this mission and you rescue him, you can get the Besaid key for free. So awesome. We'll definitely make uh, use of that later. I should be okay on my own from here. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Not going to give me anything, eh? Thank you for helping us. You're welcome to this if you need it. And we got Energy Core 5. You can now restore some function to the platform in the back of the ca cavern. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, lady. Here, take this. And Energy Core 6. And you can now restore functionality to the platform near the cavern entrance. All right. And... I shan't soon forget your deeds of valor. Accept this humble token of my gratitude. And Energy Core 7. You can now almost fully restore functionality to the platform in the back of the cavern. Sweet. And we've still got two people trapped. Well, um, if you rescue all 13 of those people, well, if you rescue enough to get all of those energy cores, you it'll say, and you step on this platform, it says teleportation functions restored. Now I can warp to the back of the cavern. Take a nice little shortcut. And it says teleportation functions partially restored. Now, there is, if I go forward, it says Chamber of the Faith. And if I go backwards, that takes me to the entrance. Now, once I go to the Chamber of the Faith, um, I'll be locked into something after which the mission will end, regardless of if I've saved the rest of the people or not. Just rescuing those tourists does not give you, see, I have the option to go right into a hidden chamber. Just rescuing all of those tourists does not give you enough energy cores to do that. But if you rescue all the tourists, as I have, and make sure to talk to that one guy outside the cave who gave us that energy core, that will give you enough to go to the hidden chamber to your right. So make sure you do that. Um, so you need all those energy cores to get in here. There's a treasure chest. And it is the accessory lightning gleam. And this guy. What do you say, bud? With the right mindset, not even fiends are scary. Yeah, I am the apex of cool. Of course, even the apex of cool needs to help out once in a while. How about it? Eccentricities. He's a loner. A rebel. Yeah. I take that to mean that he would not join you if you had anybody in your group. But, I mean, I, I really couldn't make it this far if I hadn't rescued the other guys anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. But, uh, let's go ahead and step on this platform. And, uh... Just press it, and it says, with others are with you, you can only teleport to the entrance. That's fine. That's where I want to go. Wow, thanks. I want you to have this. And I got energy core 8. You can now fully restore functionality to the platform in the back of the cavern. <clears throat> now that I've got all the energy cores, there's still one guy left. Let's step on this. Warp to the back. And with that extra energy core... Now you can see I can go to the hidden chamber on my left. So let's do that. And there is another tourist and another chest. And this chest is a, a wall ring. All right, let's talk to this guy. Who's there? You got to help me. He just wants your undivided attention. Again, he may not join you if you have anybody else. I'm not sure. But I've got everybody, so let's go to the main entrance. 
Hey, I really owe you one. So long. Oh, sorry. I don't have anything to give you. Ah, well, that's fine. Anyway, zero people left. Sweet. Now, I'm going to leave the cave real quick because I want to make a... I want to make a couple changes to my party. And uh, we've rescued all the tourists. But there's, there's another aspect to this mission. And yes, I'm going to leave the mission. I'll come right back. I want to uh, save, make a backup save, and I want to make some adjustments to my party, and I will be right back. Okay, I've got everything set up the way I want to, and I made a backup save. Uh, all I did is I uh, gave, uh, now you don't already had that ribbon, so I gave her a regen bangle, and I gave, uh, I, g I gave each of the girls a regen bangle and a star pendant, uh, or ribbon for Yuna. Uh, star pendant protects against poison, that's very, um, crucial. The ribbon protects against a bunch of status ailments, including poison. And the regen bangle casts regen when your HP is low. That's, uh, important. We're gonna do something that's, uh, kinda sorta luck-based. So, we'll, we'll do the best we can. Uh, I've already, um, rescued the tourists. There's no more tourists left, but the mission isn't over yet. Um... Let's, uh, let's step on this platform, and let's warp to the back of the cavern. Bypass so many of the fiends. Alright, when you're ready to do this, you want to go to the Chamber of the Faith. Now, like I said, once you go in there, stuff's gonna happen, and you're kinda committed. So, let's do this. Hey, I recognize him! That's Yojimbo! He was an Aeon in Final Fantasy X. Please tell me! Why is this happening? I don't think he's in a talking mood. And yeah, we're gonna fight this guy. This is, um... A fairly difficult battle. Um, It's not the hardest battle. He's definitely easier than he was in Final Fantasy X. But yeah, he can be he can be mean. So I will try to explain uh, my strategy as well. The battle's unfortunately somewhat luck based, but uh, so um, Yuna, I'm going to have her dance jitterbug all day. Now that move he just did, um, that does a percentage damage to your MP. It takes away a percentage of your MP. It can never completely drain you dry. It'll get you down to one MP, but never beyond that, which doesn't make any difference. More importantly, it casts poison on you, or it poisons you, um, unless you're protected against it, as I am, and that's why I did that. It's very uh, important that we protect against poison. And uh, I'm going to uh, have Riku literally just stash Mega Potions all day, because I think that'll be the best thing to do. Jitterbug is gonna put us in haste. I think it's time to show off the uh, Berserker dress sphere for that I have on pain. Um, you don't absolutely have to do this, but uh, the way it is, Yuna's gonna be dancing all day. Um, Riku's gonna be stashing Mega Potions all day. Pain is really the only one who's gonna be doing the heavy lifting. So, um, and I mean, the Dark Knight is good. But if I berserk her, like, she'll even do better damage, and she'll just be faster. Now, that dog just does raw damage, so just watch out for that. That move he just did there, that does raw damage, so watch out for it. Um, and yeah, uh, freaking pain looks like a viking now. Alright, Riku, I need you to use that mega potion, honey. There we go. Let's keep on with... No, let's wait. Let's wait and see what he does. Okay, he did that. I'm fine with it. He has one big bad move that is really mean, and um, it's when he does that move that's where things get dangerous, and that's where um, the luck base factor comes in, and it's also the main reason why we have regen bangles and protection against poison. And I thought about using the bloodlust for pain, but that would poison her. And even if she has protection against poison, that doesn't omit the poison that comes with the bloodlust. Unfortunately, which is really stupid. All right, let's see what he does. Because if he does his big bad move, do your big bad move now. I dare you. I dare you. Yes! Yes! Zamnato. This is the move. He did it at the perfect time. He could not have done this at a better time. Because Riku's almost got her Mega Potion up. So this is going to work. Ow. 
Brawl cuts your HP and MP down to one. It can't kill you, but you're a sitting duck for literally anything else. No! Ah, oh, crap. Well, at least my other two girls are alive. But now I have to resurrect, um, I have to resurrect, uh, what's her name? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. Yeah, that's where the luck base factor comes in. Don't hit the, 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now, I so do not mind using actual high potions. I mean, I have a whole bunch of them. I'm gonna be stashing mega potions all day, but I don't mind doing the high potions. Please don't kill. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I suppose <clears throat> I could have Yuna switch to something like a gunner and do better damage, uh, you know, to help out with the heavy lifting, but right now, I'll just, I'll stick with Jitterbug. All right, let's Berserk uh, Pain again, because she was actually doing good damage. Have, there we go. But yeah, that's where the luck base factor comes in, because he'll do that move, reduce your HP to one, and then it's like, you're waiting for uh, Riku to get that Mega Potion, and during that time, like, you know, Something very bad could happen. Um, you know, he can literally do just one physical attack and kill somebody. Also, this is why you want protection against poison, because imagine you get your HP all the way down to one, and then one of your girls takes poison damage. Bam. And what if they all three take poison damage? Game over. And the reason I hesitate to use Jitterbug whenever Yuna's turn comes up is because I want to see if he's going to do that movie, or do that move to see if I need to have Yuna ready for like a, a high potion or a phoenix down or something like that. Yeah, in the grand scheme of priorities, I'm not entirely certain that um, Jitterbug is the, is the highest thing. But definitely have uh, Riku or just an alchemist in general doing mega potions all day, whether you need them or not. And then, uh, you know, obviously Pain being berserk is, I mean, she's doing excellent damage here. What you gonna do, buddy? What you gonna do, buddy? Get that Mega Potion ready. I'm scared. Yep, I knew it. I better have Yuna toss. I'm gonna have Yuna drop a High Potion on Riku. In the in the, in the the order of priorities, Riku's the one I don't want to die. I don't want any of them dying, but it's especially bad if Riku dies. It would be really bad if they, if Riku and Yuna died because Pain's kind of berserked at the moment. Now, I think Berserker, you know, the Berserker move from the job class doesn't last forever. Wow, wow, how about that? How about that? She lived. I, I am so lucky. Um, no, this is gonna suck. I went, and that dog's not a separate enemy. I wish he was, because I, I, I would kill him quickly, because he's annoying too, but he's part of Yojimbo. All right, come on, Yuna. Or somebody, I just, I need another high potion, honey. Yeah, you keep doing that move, I don't care. Ow. All right, Riku. Come on, Riku. Yeah, you do that. I so don't care. All right. Oh, see, Berserk ran, wore off, so I'm just gonna use it again and have Riku stand by on the uh, on the Mega Potions. It, it's great when uh, the Mega Potion when he does his big bad move right when she's like just about to cast that Mega Potion move. Like if he does it now, but he won't. He won't, of course. I should be so lucky. Oh well. We're gonna get this done. I think he's getting ready to do it, honestly. Cause he keeps charging the oh never mind. Ow. Alright, oh, he's staggering. We can get him. Now he staggers for a while before you do get him. Watch him do the move right now. Just just watch. Yep. So this sucks. Because there's a very high possibility that I could lose everybody.
Now, if you're watching this, this is the success take because I'm only gonna show the success take. Ow. All right, let's get that high potion on on Riku, and I hope that Regen Bangle like actually does something. No! Ugh, again, again, I'm the luckiest SOB ever because that somehow worked. Oh, but now, now, though, look at that. Okay. Uh, Phoenix down, Yuna. Let's get her up and running. Oh boy, I hate this guy so much. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Yeah, you do that. Do that all day. Do that all day. I can do this all day. High potion. No, 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 no! Golly! I hate that. What are you even doing, Riku? Like, what are you doing with your life? Well, okay. That's nice. This is where I almost need a Mega Phoenix. Which, I think I do have... Ugh, no, I'll wait. I don't want to waste it on this battle. Let's get Yuna back up. Oh, crap. I cannot believe he did that. Let's get pain up and running, and then we just need high potion on you. Know, come on, 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 come on. All right, berserk yourself. You know what? I'm actually strangely fine with that. Maybe, maybe I'm not though. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, Riku, Riku, Riku. Come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Oh, I hate this guy so much. Now it's up to you. Care about that move. Up, up, and then. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, get that Phoenix down on pain, and you do your Mega Potion, please. K, thanks. Do you. Yeah, do that. Oh, I see that dog is about to move. I'm so not ready for him to move. Hit pain, hit pain, hit pain, hit pain. She can take it, she can take it. Come on, Riku, 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 please. Okay, okay, okay. Possibly. All right, what's she gonna do? Do that, let's do Jitterbug again. All right, can we keep the rhythm going? Yeah, just do that. Do that a few more times, that's fine. All right, come on, Pain. I need you to, uh, yeah, get back to your attacking. Like I said, you don't have to Berserk her, but I think that just makes for the best amount of damage. Uh, the most efficient amount of damage. Oh, boy. Again with this thing. And I'm worried, because I know that dog, I've been eyeing that dog. That dog has been eyeing Riku this whole time. I am scared to death. But maybe I'll get lucky. Oh, no, I won't. I was thinking maybe I'll get lucky and, uh... Pain will just, like, hit him real quick, but I don't think she will. Alright. High potion, high potion. Riku, please live, please live, please live. Please kill him. No! Okay. It was okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I can resurrect Pain. That's not a problem. Okay, we're still good. 
We're still in this. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, let's do dance, jitterbug, berserk. And then Riku, I need you to get ready with another mega potion, honey. Yeah, that's fine. All right, Pain, you gotta you gotta berserk yourself now. Ah, oh, we killed him, I think. Learned cripple. Did I kill him? Yes, I killed him. Sweet! I'm surprised Yuna didn't learn any other dances. Oh no, because no, she wouldn't. Never mind. I'm not surprised she didn't learn any dances. We did it! We beat Yujimbo! Woo! Hello! Careful. Someone might answer. That's kind of creepy, Pain. Oh, that battle is high tension. It's luck based. No matter how how which way you slice it, because when he reduces your HP to one, you are so vulnerable. But anyway, when you beat him. Hey guys. We can't thank you enough for your help. I promise we won't be doing business here anymore. Oh, really? Well, you saved every last person. Look, if you didn't save everybody, like the last two guys, for example, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Got a recovery bracer. Either way, you're still going to get the Tetra Master Garment Grid, which we'll look at later. By later, I mean a couple of minutes from now. Because we're now back on the Celsius. Now, as you saw, there was a treasure chest in that room. Don't worry, we'll go back and get it. But I think we'll do that in the next video. I'll explore the Calm Lands again, this time in its entirety. Um, but let's just look at that Garment Grid real quick. Um, uh, tetra, 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 Tetra Master. Uh, equip comes with Tetra Strike, which I'm guessing is uh, all four elements into one physical attack. That would be my guess. Um, anyway, if you pass through the right gates, you can get, uh, you can, you can absorb every single of the four elements, uh, thrown at you, so that's actually not the most useless thing in the world. Um, I might, I might prep that up for somebody someday, but right now I don't have any plans to use it. But the, uh, Berserker Dress Sphere seemed to work pretty nice with Pain. Um, she did learn, in fact, uh, Cripple. Oh, sorry, let me go into Abilities. Uh, maybe. She learned Cripple, which uh, was what? Uh, have one enemy's HP. Now she's working on Mad re Rush. Heavily damage one enemy. Often fails. Well, that what good is it if it often fails? Um, yeah, we'll just learn. Eh, well, yeah, we'll have her learn that, and then yeah. But I'll probably put her back on the Dark Knight, and I think I'll <coughs> switch. Um. I'll switch uh, back to like some of this other stuff. Like, yeah, I'll figure that out. I'll figure that out between now and next video. Right now, I'm gonna save. Please save because that, I don't want to have to do that battle over again. Um, but yeah, there you go. That was that. And uh, in the next video, we'll do some more stuff. Oh wait, no. Let me talk to the people first. I could have sworn I heard something moving at the bottom of that hole. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't mean to talk to him. Yes, I will turn to the bridge. So Payne says she could have sworn something at, or Riku says, and then Payne says, please, nothing's gonna hear her from way down there. I don't know, Riku is pretty loud. Anyway, in the next video, we'll do some more stuff. I think we'll explore the Calm Lands, the rest of it. Until then, I'm 480 Volts. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Pieces!